So today I have two big news to share with you guys. First one, EU charges Microsoft with antitrust violation over Teams app because EU thinks Microsoft is playing unfairly with Teams product. As you know, Microsoft actually bundles Teams app with popular apps from Microsoft Office like Word, Excel as a part of Office 360. Good thing that I don't use Office apps. I just use online web apps. Cool. <laughs> I don't even use Teams actually. So EU regulators thinks that this gives a unfair advantage over similar apps since people are more likely to use what's already included in the package they pay for. So basically EU regulators thinks that this is kind of a bully move to shut down the competition. This isn't the first time Microsoft got fined. It happened way back in 2013 too. You may also know that Microsoft made changes in Windows to comply with the Digital Markets Act in European Economic Area. And with this, you can debloat Windows even further, like you can uninstall Microsoft Edge, Photos, and many other system apps. Actually, they are not just after like Microsoft Windows. They are after every, you know, big companies out there, even Apple. You know, Apple now have a USB-C type port charging cable thingy. EU is responsible for that. And there are many great things EU is doing, actually. Okay, so there is another story that I want to share with you guys. Uh, this is about the Windows 11 and OneDrive. This is something I personally don't like. Now, if you clean and install Windows 11, OneDrive will automatically backup some folders without asking any permission from the user. So those folders are, as far as I know, I have also tested this. This is nothing new, actually. It happens automatically. Now it looks like it is available for more people, I guess. I don't know how this thing works. But the thing is that it's going to automatically back up uh, the documents folder, I guess, and uh, video, picture, and desktop folder. This is actually something that I absolutely hate. Okay. So I don't have OneDrive here. I always uninstall OneDrive. I don't use OneDrive on desktop. If I need to use OneDrive, I just use web browser. And I actually move my, you know, user folders to secondary drive. Uh, you can see here, my download folder is on secondary drive, D drive here. Every user folder is actually moved to secondary drive. You know, if OneDrive enables the automatic backup, it creates a OneDrive folder here under users folder. And inside that folder, you'll see the folders that are backed up. And the problem with that is that you can't move them. You won't have the location option on those folder, which is kind of bad. Now, this is another reason why we should install Windows 11 with local account. If you create a local account, OneDrive won't be able to set up the automatic backup so right now if you don't want this thing to happen automatically you might want to use local account to set up the windows and uninstall the onedrive and then if you need to log in with your microsoft account you can once the onedrive is gone from the system this problem will get solved i don't know how many people are gonna do that <laughs> you know not everybody is going to be aware of this because it's not asking for permission but the good thing is that OneDrive is uninstallable. Again, non-tech savvy people can get into trouble just because, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. Uh, but again, as I said, I don't use OneDrive on my system. Plus, I move my uh, user folders to secondary drive. So I don't think this feature is useful. Just like this, there are many other things that Microsoft does <laughs> without user's consent, like importing the browser data from other browser to Microsoft Edge and all that. I think they give you the option now when you install the Windows 11, do you want to automatically import the browser data from other browser? If you click yes, it's going to automatically import everything from other browser. But I think that option isn't related to windows so it shouldn't be there that option should pop up when we open the microsoft edge browser because it's a browser thing there are many such things microsoft does so yeah that's something 
Uh, I don't know. Maybe one day you will fix the windows forever. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? Microsoft should make almost everything optional. Almost every feature that they add in uh, Windows. Do you want to have this? Yes, no. The user who wants to use the feature will actually install that feature and click on yes. The people who don't want, I mean, they can simply click on no. That should fix everybody's problem, I think. No headache to the Microsoft, no headache to the uh, user. I don't know. That's just my opinion. But yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something, you can always do the comment. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.